Good morning, and welcome to Bumblebee Junction. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. Now we are trying to get the bucket garden all filled up, and I do have a few peppers that I would like to get in, and yeah, they're one of my favorites. I know they are marks too, but there's so many wonderful ways to use them. But I am going to go and get a couple of buckets. I'm going to get a couple of buckets of dirt, and yeah, we're going to go play in the bucket garden. So hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, we are sitting out here on Mark's back porch. I was going to do this in the garden, but it is starting to get awful warm today. But these are two of the buckets out of the bucket garden, and these are self-watering buckets. And you can't see that one. That one's bobbing a little bit. We have had quite a bit of rain, and these have plenty of water in them, make them a little bit heavy. But I have these wonderful critters over here. These are poblanos, and I have four of them. I'm going to put two in each bucket. But what I really want to do first is I want to stir this up a bit. This is still really, really nice and soft. But before I plant anything else in it, I would like to recondition it a bit. Soil is still pretty good and wet, and we've had um, some really good luck with these buckets, and we really enjoy them. And I think I got that stirred up pretty good. Now, I do want to add a little bit of jobs in here. And it will need a little bit of fresh soil on the top. I don't want to get it up way too high. I do still have to get these two plants in here. But I don't think you can have too many poblano peppers because they can be stuffed with bacon and cream cheese for a midnight snack or a game snack or, yeah, really, really good. But now I've got some extra dirt in here. I'm just going to mix this up just a bit. Make sure to stick a plant tag in here because there there are tags that go on these and I can't find the replacement ones. I put it somewhere safe and um, yeah, I can't find them now. <laughs> now these have become a little root bound so I'm just going to break it up just a little bit. very small bottom leaves. Yeah, that one's a little root bound too. Now I did overwinter and get pepper plants to go dormant and some of them have woke back up, but it tends to work a little bit better for um, any kind of bell pepper, and the hot peppers don't come back quite as often as, as the bell peppers do, but I do have quite a few that have come back. And a pepper plant will live for up to seven years, and um, 
but it does get a little too cold here in the winter to leave them outside and let them get that old. But you can take them in the house and put them into dormancy for the winter and then bring them out early in the spring. That is two. And I have two more. Because you can't have too many poblanos. One more left here. Absolutely love the bucket garden. If you haven't got the plans for the bucket garden, um, just send Mark an email and he will gladly send you the plans for it. You can grow quite a bit in a very small space, very little weeding. And if you put them in a self-watering bucket, it would be very little work at all. But I absolutely have enjoyed the bucket garden. And I have a few more pots out there that are buckets. I have a few more buckets out there that I would like to get a few more things in. Um, but I haven't quite decided exactly what I want. So, yeah. We do a little bit of time to my own pace and have lots of wonderful peppers. Yeah, you can see that one's oh, moving over on camera. You can see that one bobbing around in there a little bit better now. Um, now I will put some water on these anyway, top water them a little bit. Um, it is an awful warm day and certainly won't hurt them to get a little bit more water. But I'll get these carried over there, then I'll show you what I've got going on in the bucket garden. And um, I'll be right back. We are over here at the bucket garden. I have brought the poblanos out and put them up here on top. I'll show you the peppers that I was talking about coming out of dormancy. Some of them are being a little bit slower than others. And I'm not 100% sure I'll get all of them to wake back up. But I do have several that are really, really just getting taken off here. And we have some volunteer oregano. And these are the little carrots that I planted not that long ago. We have a few more peppers back here, trying to see if they are going to wake up or not. But the poblanos are out here and they are set. All I'm going to do is just spray everybody down Give them a little bit of a cool water bath and a refresh. And that will be about all I'm going to plant out here until I know what some of the rest of these other peppers are going to do. Okay, um, glad to have a few extra peppers in the bucket garden. Now, we have really, really enjoyed having a bucket garden. And, um, yeah, Mark and his dad did an absolutely wonderful job getting it built. And the, the self-watering buckets have been a, a welcome addition. You would be really, really surprised what you can grow in a five-gallon bucket. But, yeah, if you want the instructions, just let Mark know. Anyway, I am going to go ahead and get on out of here. Um, can never have too many peppers, but it is getting a bit warm and um, it is time to take a break. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring that little bell. It'll let you know when I'm out here, yeah, trying to turn the world green, about any shade of green. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything at all in your mind, please put them in the little box below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. But yeah, it is time to get in, cool off, but really really glad that you chose to spend a few moments of your day with me and don't forget we love you and we'll see you in the next one